So, uh, Father to Son by Cat Stevens, Yusuf. Um, a few thoughts on this song. Um, it's a very popular song, a really popular song. Loads of people like to learn it um, and loads of people give up on it. Um, I think mainly because the vocal jumps an entire octave. Um, so, you've basically got this... Um, it's not time to make a change Just relax and take it easy La la, it's right down there La la la, la la la, la 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 So you might go, oh, I think I want to take it up to suit my voice. However, you get to verse three, he jumps up an entire octave. How can I try to explain When I do, he turns away again Excuse my voice, by the way, I'm making this while I've still got COVID, so <clears throat> definitely not in any shape for singing. Um, <clears throat> so you've got this problem where the first couple of verses are low um, and arguably they may, there may be points in that where it's too low for your voice. And then the song moves up uh, and then you might have points in that where it's too high for your voice. Um, and that's quite common. And I think that's why a lot of people give up on it because... Um, you know, you, you've got a, a, you know, I, I suppose it must be going over an octave and a half of range or something like that, which although it's not ridiculous, it's a bit of a push. Um, it doesn't always sound comfortable. It doesn't always bring out the best in your voice, you know. So the way I would probably go around that um, vocally, and we'll come on to the guitar in a minute, but the way I'd get around that vocally is to find a happy place in the middle and not do that big jump. So if I was doing, it's not time to make a change. And then I've got a, how can I try to explain? And I explain, yeah. It might be a bit much, it might not be, but and if I worked on the song, obviously, but that's a whole other story. So what I could do, let's just say I bring it up to the fifth fret. Um, it's not time to make a change. Just relax and take it easy. You're still young, that's your fault. Now, that's nicer than the word I was trying to sing down here. Uh, as I say, my voice isn't in any, any shape at the moment, so forgive me, but you can still hear it, it feels more natural. I was once like you are now, and I know that it's not easy. So when we get to the third verse, instead of going another octave, we're just gonna stay in the same place. How can I try to explain when I do it sounds away again? It's always been the same, same old story. You see what I mean? So I would just leave it in one place if you're not sure, you know? So experiment with it. Anyway, um, just a, a, a few little tips on the vocals and Trust me, uh, I've heard loads of people butcher this song, and um, that's one of the reasons why. So have a think about. Sorry, have a think about that. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's come back to the guitar then. I'm going to show it to you in its original key, which is in G, and so this is where it is. Um, now the other thing I wanted to mention is this is a simplified version. Um, um, when I when I say simplified. There's a few little things he does. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just show you very quickly now uh, and then we'll get on to the meat and potatoes in a minute. Um, later on in the song, um, I think it comes into the third verse and it, I think it continues. We go from G to D, it goes from G to B minor. So, um, how can I try to explain? There's a B minor there. So there's a B minor, and obviously I'm doing this as a, as a beginner's version. So I've substituted the B minor for a D. You can't always do that, but in this song I think it sounds fine. How can I, how can I try to explain? That's the D. I'll do it with the B minor. How can I try to explain? It does sound prettier. Uh, and it does off give the song some uh, variety as the song's picking up and going on. So don't get me wrong, uh, 
we're not necessarily making it, we're not necessarily enhancing it, but neither are we ruining it. I think it sounds absolutely fine to do that. Second thing you need to know um, is there's a, uh, where is it? Um, I'm just trying to see, I'm looking up there because I've got it on the computer. There's so much you have to know. It goes A minor, A minor seven and D, so it's a, I've left that out. Uh, it's not actually that difficult, but I don't want this video to be too long. Um, we're already five minutes in, you know. So that being said, the only thing I have included in this video is an A minor seven instead of an A minor. You know, for most of my guitar level one students, I would say your chords are gonna be G, D, C, E minor, and A minor. The thing with an A minor seven is all you have to do is take your third finger, this one, take the third finger off, and that makes it into an A minor seven. Also, though, if you are comfortable with A minor, and even just taking that finger off is adding a complication which you're not ready for yet, it sounds fine with just the A minor. And that's really why I'm kind of happy to put this out there, really. Um, so that said, the chords are gonna be G, D, C, a minor or A minor 7, G, E minor, A minor and D. That's basically the pattern. But what it does do is on the last line of each verse it changes ever so slightly. Um, and uh, I'll go through those changes as we get there. Um, and uh, yeah, I think you should have everything you need then. Um, so, what you need to be aware of is the chords are quite straightforward, but they also change relatively quickly. Again, if you're a beginner, it's going to seem quite quick. It's not, it's not, it's not time to make a change. So it's literally one, two, one, two, C, two, A minor, two, G. So the changes are relatively quick. So the first thing you're going to do is go through this song sheet, look at the chords, and get used to changing them in that order. G, D, C, A minor, or A minor 7. I'm just going to say A minor for the sake of simplicity. And then G, E minor, A minor, and D. That's the bulk of it. So do that, pause this video, Make sure you're happy with those chords before you do anything else. Um, and then we'll move on. Um, and I, I, by the way, I, with all my videos, I say that, I do, I do chuck quite a lot of information in here. So pause it, rewind it, play it again, play it again and again and again to get everything out of it. Um, don't be overwhelmed, just play it again and again. So, it, you want to start with one, two, one, two. Just start with downstrokes while you're learning the song. It's not one, two, D, two, C, two, A minor, two. You could even go one, um, no, no, I'm just going to leave it at that, actually. Okay, so just get used to that first of all, uh, and then I'm going to go and play through it with the rhythm. Now, the rhythm is... The simplest way to think of this is boom, boom, chaka, chaka. Boom, boom, chaka, chaka. So maybe put your hands on here for your percussive strumming. Any of my students know what this is about. Boom, boom, chaka, chaka, boom, boom, chaka, chaka, boom, boom, chaka, chaka, boom, boom, chaka. Play along with me. Rewind it if you need to. So then, if you've learned the chords and you've learned them in the correct order and you're happy that you can change them relatively quickly, obviously you can slow the song down, um, but you can change those relatively quickly. And then if you're happy, you can do boom, boom, chaka, chaka. It's all about putting it together. I'll go quite slowly, but it's basically going to be like this. It's not time. Chaka, chaka, boom.
can do that, you're gonna be okay. If you can't, go back, rewind until you can do that. <coughs> okay, so, um, and also, that, as I say, don't forget, if you wanna be singing along with yourself, don't forget, maybe putting it up here is gonna make more sense, capo. I, I found it on the fifth fret is about right for my voice, um, but you can experiment anywhere in your life. Um, but I, I'm gonna leave that down to you. Okay, so um, I think all that's left to look at really is the variations in the verses. verses. Uh, verse one, uh, now there's two verses stuck together here. I, I've separated them on my sheet, um, but it's kind of like a double verse if you like. So the, last, the first line that we're looking at is, look at me. So G, E minor, A minor, and D. That's quite straightforward, okay? Nothing to worry about there. The next uh, one we're looking at is the last line of the second verse. Uh, for, for you will still be here tomorrow, but your dreams may not. So that's different. G, G, E minor, D. G. Okay, so it goes with the vocal. Dreams may now. Dreams may now. Okay? Practice that. If you're doing it with the vocals, it makes it much easier to follow where you are. Again, I've written the chords in exactly the correct place, at least I think I have. Um, so if it says D on dreams, then that's where you play it. Um, be careful of that because it can uh, throw you if you don't, if you change it slightly or if you're listening to the live at the Buddha Khan version or whatever, you know, don't, uh, you know try and go with the single version because that's what I've gone with. Anyway, verse three. Uh, again, everything's just repeating. We're just on loops here until we get to that last line. Uh, now there's a way and I know that I have to go away. Um, so let me do that again. There's a way that I know that I have to go away. I know I have to go. So I'm just reading that and realising that the version I've got up there is the wrong version. Uh, just bear with me. Let's just close that down. And... I've done... Uh, on uh, a couple of versions of these. That's better. Okay, so apologies for the uh, little gap there. Yeah, there's a way and I know I have to go away. I know I have to go. So you've got to really, really, really got to focus on what is the lyric and where are you playing it. But it's basically for the for the last line on all of these you start with a G to E minor but then it changes in this particular case it's D C and G and then it repeats I know D and then C and G it just repeats and it's just a single strum and that's all you've got to do okay then you've got your solo which is the same chords as verse three so you just play verse three without any vocals and then the uh, fourth and fifth verses I think are just a repeat of that um, I must admit, I haven't gone into any huge depth with that, but from what I, I did listen to the whole thing through, and from, from what I can remember, that's all it was. Okay, so I'm, again, I'm trying to keep these videos short. We're already going to be up to 15 minutes on this one. So just try and um, remember, move the vocal to where it needs to be, where it suits you, if you prefer. The only other things I'm going to show you really, really quickly, because this is a beginner's video, is at the beginning you got this... You don't really want to be playing that, but I've just shown you what it is. You have to play G like that. You have to play G with those fingers so that it frees up this finger to play in the second string on the first fret. To G4. Off with the first finger and then on. Da 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 da. Okay. If that doesn't make sense to you, you're not ready for it yet. And then the other bit was. 
Um, can't do it from here. There's a slide on the third string up to the uh, fourth fret. Use your second finger. Do that first. And then on the first string, third fret and fifth fret. So it's do that first, first, third string and first string. And then you do it again, but this time with the fifth fret. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You should do. I should really do a separate video for this. There's a few other little frills that he's put in there. Um, which I think I mentioned earlier. Anyway, I've got to keep this uh, relatively short, otherwise it's going to take a year to, to upload to um, uh, uh, bloody YouTube. So there we go. I um, hope that's good for you, and um, let me know your thoughts.